So did you do it? It's October 19th, 2018. And this is by far one of the hardest videos I've had to do yet. And you know, I do want to apologize for my absence. Let me start out by saying it had nothing to do with leaf rakes or changing brakes or toothaches. It's all about life. You know, there's peaks and troughs and hopefully I'm, I'm coming out of a trough right now instead of finding myself in the middle of a dead cat bounce. But, you know, that said, you know, what I'd like to do is take a moment now to, to dedicate my channel and all its contents to my most avid, smart, kind, and staunch supporter. Someone who has encouraged me in every way at all times. He always made sure I was dry, warm, fed, and watered. It's my dad. Thank you, Dad. I love you. There's something else I want to talk about, too. It's, it's about humility and, and reaching out. You know, what I found, there's a saying out there. And it says, uh, it's when you're ever so humbled, it's when you remember the best. And, uh... What I'd like to do is uh, introduce you to, to someone now. Some of you have already know of this person, and some may not. And uh, without the generosity and selfless use of his time and, and financial wherewithal, I would not be using the new screencast program that I've got here now. You know, I reached out to this person after my last video, and uh, I asked him for his assistance on a couple of the subjects I've been reporting on. And he responded immediately, agreeing to help me out. Not only that, after a few email conversations, he discovered how technologically inept I was. And uh, he actually called me via telephone from New Zealand, you know, on his own dime. And he literally spent a couple hours walking me through, step by step, through the, bu through the bowels of my computer, you know, updating things. He updated my sound driver and reconfigured some things. And he made it so my computer it would actually use this screencast program. And, well, without his help, none of this would, would have happened. And, and I'm a little nervous now. It's a new thing. I know how much time I've got. And we're not going to get cut off. But I'd like to introduce you to... Come on now. Actually, Daz of the Cameraman, okay? He's a, the kindest, the kindest, smartest gentleman out there, you know, equal to the best. Where is that? Come on now. There it is. I got you a Dazza the Cameraman's channel. And it was months ago that I actually bumped into one of his videos. It was this video. I'm going to leave you all these links. It was titled Flat Earth, Sun Reflections on Water. And I was really intrigued about his his ability to to take things and scientifically prove them, or you know set up experiments. Let's see, and especially right here. Okay, this is what got me. He was able to take take what he he knew and apply it to some of the things he was seeing, and uh, set up an experiment and explain very well why things are the way they are. And so, when I did this video, I always remembered that experiment he did. When I did this last video, entitled "Only One Moon Allowed," one moon allowed that was the last video in a series of, well, at least twelve videos I did about those. Well, eleven videos I did about those moons. Well, what he did was, okay. I reached out for his help, and pretty much immediately he plugged his he plugged this information about the moons into the TLE data he called it for the Himawari 8 into the Starry Night Pro, and he viewed the Earth from Himawari 8. It is the moon in each case, he says. Well, you know. It's all about due diligence, and I had no idea anything about that program even existing, and he knew right away where, where to plug it in, and it just fascinated how fast, you know, he came back with that answer. You know, so I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with the, these, all these objects of the moon, but me being myself, I'm going to go back through all these videos and pull out the times and, and just verify with that program that all of them are the, are the moon, because there may be, there may be one video in there where I, you know, I may have caught another uh, object that may not be the moon. 
seemed like it was within an eight-hour period. I saw the object three times at two different latitudes. But, you know, I'm going with the moon right now, and thank you, Dad's a, man, Dad, Dad's a cameraman. But there is something else that I asked him about. It was about this uh, transitory solar reflectance that we've been seeing. And I'm going to leave you that link right here. This is where I saw it at first. And this is uh, another website that I took everybody to on one of my videos. I'll leave you this link. But I want to briefly take you, and I got his permission to share this, his comment with us. I want to take you to an email response he gave me about the transitory solar reflectance, if it'll pull up. Okay. There it is. Okay, about that. He says, Here is the view from the center of the sun to the earth as the GOES-16 and Himawari satellites orbit the earth in geosynchronous orbit. With the explanation given at the website and the view from the sun, it starts to make sense. Remember that the sun is in a straight line behind the satellite in line with the spot we see. The bright spots in the visible and warm spots in the shortwave infrared occur when the Earth's surface, the GO satellite, and the Sun are aligned in one on one line. If you were within the bright spot on the powerful telescope trained on the Sun, you would see the GO satellite transecting the solar disk. So it is not the specular reflection of the Sun we are seeing, which moves from right to left as seen from the satellite. Which it all it all makes sense, but I need to I need I just need to find out more about specular reflections and but he, he left a video here a, a link and I'm gonna leave you this link directly to this video here and it actually shows the go 16 orbit animation now I've watched this thing over and over and I've got bad eyes believe it or not and it's just hard for me to to really keep track of everything but it's all here and you know he, he's the smartest guy you know really I, I just love him Let's see, where are we at here? Okay. There's something else I wanted to talk about uh, with Daz. Oh. Well. Where's it at? Okay, this one. <laughs> Okay, I'm with you, Dazza. I really am. But usually, when I when I hear something or I learn something, in my mind, by default, I try to f think of how I would set up a personal experiment at my house to duplicate what I'm seeing. And I'm still having trouble s thinking or envisioning how I would set up an experiment to do exactly what we're seeing here. Okay, with the sun going the direction it's going and you know, the whole idea of this being a reflectance means that the sun's photons are reflecting off an object. And in order for that to happen and be visible on the Earth's surface, the object must be on the opposite side of the sun, which during the daytime when the sun is shining on our hemisphere and we're getting this transitory solar reflectance going in the opposite direction, I'm just having a hard time with that one yet. I need to figure out how to do an experiment, you know, with soccer balls or Christmas ornaments or flashlights or something. I'm just, just having difficulty with that. But, you know, I really do want to thank you, Dazza. You're the man. I love you. And there is something else, a little anomaly here I wanted to see. I wanted to show you. Because this doesn't make any sense to me. Let's see. Come on. What is that? Let me just click on his uh, last video, see if we can find something for you. Okay. Looks like Saturn. Huh. Well, I'm not seeing it right now. There's something I wanted to talk about that I'm not seeing, and I apologize for that too. But 
since I got a couple more minutes, I do want to, I want to talk about some, some research that I got coming up. And I'll, I'll probably leave you these links too. Uh, this is a PDF that I'm going to be going over. It's called On a Possible Giant Impact Origin for the Col Colorado Plateau. I don't know what happened there. I think we just had a little problem. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to be talking about this PDF here real soon on a possible giant impact origin for the Colorado Plateau. Okay, that sucked. I've had some issues already. Now, I know they were my fault. I'm going to go over this PDF with everybody here soon. And I'm also going to be talking about, here's a, a simple search I did on lead as ice forming nuclei. I'm going to bring that up here soon. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you these three links I'm just talking about. And I'm going to give you this link to a summary of Soviet publications on weather modification. Now, I'm not a big follower. There's a lot of experts out there on weather modification. But, uh, I want to talk about lead as ice forming nucle nuclei because of all the uh, dark black shadows we've been seeing behind the contrails or behind the chemtrails lately. Their shadows or, you know, I don't know. I, I first thought, hey, lead, you know, they're spraying out lead. Well, so I did a simple search on possibly them using lead as the nuclei for their weather modification. And it turns out, just real quickly, you know, at, at the warmer levels of the atmosphere, here's an example. It appears that PBL2 lead acts as a freezing nucleus from negative 6 Celsius to about negative 12 to negative 14 Celsius, Celsius, and whatever. Well, the deal is they were looking for good mediums for ice nuclei to form in the warmer pockets of the atmosphere. Now, I'm not saying that they're using them, or the, but I'm pretty sure that the experiments they're talking about that they did in chambers, they probably also did it, you know, over top of our heads too and we probably got that shit all over our rooftops and everything else because they were experimenting with it but well I hope this is better and things will improve from here and I want to thank Daz the cameraman and, and I know my dad's not well now and hopefully hopefully he'll see this and, and I love you dad thanks for everything so did you do it